All right, you guys have no idea how excited I am right now because Mano and I were able to figure out the, the chest timer thing. And hopefully we will be able to do this for every single coach um, once we get things sorted out here. So, Mono, okay. Uh, honestly, I'm really terrified of that dust clops. I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, dust clops is something I was not really expecting him to bring. If you guys saw my team builder, uh, you will know what I expected. I don't know. Okay, so either way, I'm so excited right now. I feel like I'm just as excited as, as I was during week one. If you guys are excited for this, hit that thumbs up button down below. Y'all showed such amazing support in our week one battle. I think we got over 100 likes, so let's try and destroy that once again. If you missed our team builder, a link to that is down in the description. We got 30 seconds here. I don't know what to lead with. I'm super nervous. I'm excited. I don't even remember my sets. Hold on. Oh my god. We have like 20 seconds. Where are my sets? Ah. Mm. Okay, hold on. Uh, I think I'm gonna lead Heliolisk. Heliolisk looks like a pretty safe lead here. Oh, honestly, what I kind of wanted to lead with was actually my Garboder, but it's not really that big of an issue, I suppose. I could have led Darmanitan, but I feel like he might lead Darmanitan, so... I mean, sorry, he might expect me to lead Darmanitan. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Win or lose, I'm excited because hopefully we can get this uh, chess timer, 30-minute timer thing getting uh, started right here. So shouts out to my boy, Mono Tui. Awesome, awesome dude. Some of you guys may know him from previous GBA gens. I apologize if my audio has been going in and out, in and out. But we are going to go ahead and get this bop in. So he ends up leading off with the Dust Clops as I lead off with my Heliolisk here. I don't really know what Dusclops actually does. I honestly did not expect him to want to bring this whatsoever. So we don't actually have Volt Switch on this Heliolisk. My best bet of trying to deal with this is my Jiraiya. Because we have Toxic on Jiraiya. So I wonder what this is going to do to me. He might expect me to just go for the Volt Switch. A part of me really thought he was going to bring the the Rhyperior. Yo, if this is Calm Mind, I lose. Okay, so he goes for Ice Beam. That does nothing to us, thankfully, as we are able to eat that hit. Although, I mean, I don't know. I guess 30 points of damage is not entirely too bad. Um, a part of me really doesn't want to go for Toxic or Scald here. I guess the worst thing he can do is try and will o -wisp me, potentially? Like, see, this is the thing about, like, he has Espeon. I'm gonna Scald first. I'm gonna Scald because I'm a little concerned he's gonna try and bring in Espeon. Or even if he brings in Ferrothorn, we might be able to burn that. As he does bring in the Ferrothorn, getting off damage on this is gonna be absolutely phenomenal for us. As we get no burn ah okay so no burn unfortunately uh, i really want to stay in and go for the stealth rocks i really want to stealth rock right now mm, do i stealth rock here i really want to stealth rock i'm gonna be a man and i'm gonna get up rocks i'm gonna be a man yes yeah, so we get up our rocks I'm really hoping he doesn't go for the grass move because we have so many good switch-ins to this Ferrothorn. That's right. Yep, he gets up his rocks. That's fine. All right. So, yeah, I didn't think he would go for the rocks there because we have so many good switch-ins to rocks of our own. Because he doesn't have Butterfree, I can definitely play a little bit more recklessly with my Silvali here. My only concern is that he's going to have the spikes too, which could be a little bit scary. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Silvali here. Silvali can, like, straight to a KO. Ferrothorn, potentially. Oh, is he going to start spike stacking? That could be a problem. No, so he goes for knockoff. That's fine with me. We're going to be able to eat the hit. I feel like he's going to expect me to go for the fire move here. So, I really want to go for parting shot. Because if he brings in the Pelipper, I can Parting Shot into Heliolisk. I'm going to Parting Shot. Uh, so he's got Knockoff. He's got Stealth Rocks. 
and he's got leftovers. So I'm not sure if he's gonna have the spikes on this, honestly. Because we do have a really good defogger in Neuburn. So I'm expecting him to still potentially have a grass move, even though, yes, he went for knockoff. He probably did anticipate me to want to switch out, obviously fearing the grass type move. But I'm going to expect him to expect me to go for the fire move, and we are going to be able to gain momentum here. As he brings in, Leo is dumb. <laughs> I knew it was going to be the Pelipper. Ah, suck me off. Screw you, Kelly. I know Kelly nicknamed all of Mono's, of Mono's Pokemon. So we are going to be able to parting shot on out of here as we're able to catch him, which is amazing. This puts us in a phenomenal position because now I can bring in Heliolisk. I could bring in Neuvern, but I don't want to bring in Neuvern just because he's going to see that... Or no, that, uh, I don't want to bring in Neuvern because he could go for the Ice Beam. Sorry. So we're going to bring in Heliolisk. Now he's going to see that we have Leftovers and Dry Skin, which is going to actually put us back up at full after Leftovers. Oh, after Dry Skin, actually. Okay, so this is nice because I really want to focus Blast here. If I focus Blast and the Ferrothorn is not max Bedef, max HP, that's a straight to a KO after Stealth Rocks. Well, no. Is it? It depends. I don't think it would be max Bedef, max HP is a thing. See, so yeah, I'm going to focus blast. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to focus blast. We're modest max special attack. Even if we have leftovers. Yes. Oh, please. Please. This is our first focus blast of the season. Dude, we hit it. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, that's damage. That's damage. I don't care, bro. I don't care. That's damage right there. So he's definitely like max Badaf, max HP. Holy crap. Okay, so he can definitely go for knockoff here. He's going to get rid of our leftovers, but is that the worst thing ever? I feel like I'm going to miss the next Focus Blast. I really do. Uh, I kind of want to protect here. Uh, does Garboder... No, Garboder having Rocky Helmet's really, really helpful. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I've had two Focus Blasts hit on me back-to-back -back before. As he goes for the Protect. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to Focus Blast again. Now he knows that we're going to want to go for it. Ah, this thing is actually going to be quite the nuisance. So if I hit another Focus Blast, we should put him at about... Hold on, where's my image? Oops, okay. So yeah, if we hit another Focus Blast, we should put him at about... 15-ish percent. So now I want to protect here. Because. Hmm. Do I protect? So he's got protect, knock off, and stealth rocks. Is that all the moves we've seen? I'm pretty sure that's all the moves we've seen. I'm going to focus blast regardless. Come on, Heliolis. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So he's going to switch. He's sitting at about 55%. Under the radar was the Dust Clops. Okay, that's fine. Oh, dude, if he stalls me out of my Focus Blast, that could actually be really bad. Hmm. Yeah, we're down to four now, unfortunately. So we know he's got Ice Beam. He definitely has to have Will O Wisp, I'd assume. I mean, Heliolus doesn't really care about the burn. So I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt here. Just because beating down this Dusclops is still really nice, honestly. Ooh, that's good damage. I'll take that. As he expected us to switch, probably thinking that we were locked into the Thunderbolt. I mean, into the Focus Blast, sorry. So I feel like I lose nothing in just going for another Thunderbolt, even if he brings in the Ferrothorn, that's fine. So he's got Nightshade, he's got Ice Beam. Oh, if he's Rest, that's really bad, actually. No! No, 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 no. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, this is bad. Hmm, this is actually really bad. Yeah, I did not expect this to come at all. Okay, I gotta check something real quick. Um, alright, so I got a plan. I got a plan. I'm going to hit him with one Thunderbolt real quick. I'm going to hit him with one Thunderbolt real quick. And then I'm going to hard switch into Darmanaman. 
Okay, so that's doing a nice 30%. Alright, so hopefully he sleep talks the nightshade again. He does. Awesome. So now what I can do is bring in Darmanitan. Oh, no! Bro. Wait, does this count Gorilla Tactics? Hold on. I don't know if... Hold on. Yeah, because I'm changing the ability. This should count Gorilla Tactics, right? I'm confused now. So we did 30%. As he pulls the Ice Beam. We can go ahead and Icicle Crash here. We're adamant max attack guerrilla tactics. He's at what, 70 ish percent? Depending on rolls, we can 2 a KO him. We can try and fish for flinches as well. Missing would really suck, I'm not gonna lie. If we miss an icicle crash, that would be a little bad. So let's see how much this does. Oh, that did so much! He went for the Nightshade! Awesome! Alright, so this is great because now... Now we can definitely knock him out this next turn. Bro, please don't miss. Come on, Darman. There's no way that we that this Dusclops after Rocks is ever gonna get the chance to rest again. I guess unless he brings it in on my Garboder. Yes! Oh, dude! This Dusclops was such a problem. And it's down! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome. Dusclops is gone. You guys have no idea. I literally did not expect Dusclops whatsoever. So the fact that I'm able to get rid of it this early is amazing. I 100% expect that Cinescorch to be heavy duty boots. So my best switch into that is definitely my Garboder in the back. Garboder, Gar Garbador, however you guys want to pronounce it. I think I say both from time to time, so I apologize. But man... Ooh, I'm really happy he didn't go for the rest there. Because if he went, I mean, to be fair, if he went for the rest, he would have to bank on me missing or eventually not flinching him. So, yeah, I don't know how much it would have uh, ultimately mattered, I suppose. As he takes the nice cheap, the nice little bit of cheap. Mm, if he will o wisps. That is annoying, actually. Hold on. I don't really want Garboder to be burned, honestly. What does this even learn? I gotta keep an eye on my timer. Um, I think I'm gonna switch right into Toad. Like, he still doesn't really have the best switch-ins to my Seismic Toad, and... Uh, Weezing doesn't get Giga Drain. Or any Grass move, for that matter. So we bring in Toad here. As it goes for the Sludge Bomb Aru, please don't poison me Aru. Please? Yes! Awesome. Okay. So now he knows that we have lefties. I think I kind of I think I showed them that earlier, honestly. And I'm just gonna go straight for the The Scald here. Yeah, uh, I think that's definitely my better play. Actually, should I I need to fix this? Okay, that seems right. Alright. So we're good, yeah, Scalding here is definitely my play. He's going to be fearing me going for the ground move regardless, I'm pretty sure. I'm really surprised to see that he didn't bring Draco Fish. Like, yeah, I get that I have a Dry Skim on and a Water Absorb on, but Draco Fish still hit pretty scarily hard against my squad. So Scald here is really free. If he brings in Pelipper, he boosts me. If he brings in Ferrothorn, we have a chance to burn him. This is the second Scald. Please, please get a burn. Please? Can we get the burn? No, if you hope for the burn, you don't get the burn. Yeah, so unfortunately, no burn there. He didn't get up the Misty Terrain because he was neutralizing gas. So we know he's got knockoff. He's got protect. He's got rocks. Uh, Silvali is still my switch into this regardless. If he doubles out in the Sinna Scorch, I doubt he's max speed, so we parting shot. Espeon doesn't touch me. I guess... Pelipper would be a little scary, but that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. If he leech seeds here, that's annoying. So he does have power up. Awesome. 
Uh, unfortunately, he misses. I don't know how much that really matters, though. I really don't know how much that matters, honestly. As I'm going to parting shot here, because my thought is that he's going to go for protect, right? Yeah, so he's definitely going to protect here. He's going to see that I just keep going for parting shot, so he may not expect me to have the flamethrower. So now he may want to stay in and go for a knockoff. And this is where I really want a flamethrower. I'm going to flamethrower here. Come on, baby. Come on. You're staying in, Mono. You're staying in, Mono. You're not switching out. Come on, baby. Come on. If I get this flamethrower off, that would be huge. If I get this flamethrower off, that would be huge. Yo, my heart is pounding because if I do get this flamethrower, that would be amazing. No! Ah, he got me. I love you, Kelly. Is the Pelipper, right? No, Weezing. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we have multi-attack. Actually, this is good for me. I really don't mind this. Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Okay. That does really good damage as we get a crit, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know how much that crit mattered. I really want to say it might play a factor because I need to see how much damage our multi-attack is actually doing to this thing. Yo, multi-attack could deadass knock him out now. Multi-attack could one-shot him for sure. I'm going to multi-attack. You know, I should really be writing down how much HP everything is at. So this is at 56%. As he brings in the Ferret Thorn, it's fine with me. So he's scouting out for our multi-attack. That still does really good damage regardless. I don't mind taking the chip of Iron Barbs. Our last move is Sleep Talk, but he does not know that. He doesn't know that. Gonna flamethrower again. I don't know if I really like this chest timer more. I feel like just 30 minutes unlimited is actually better. I don't know. Oh yeah, Leo is dumb because he definitely called my bluff here with the flamethrower. So that was a really good play on his end. That was a really good play on his end there. Forcing me to uh, flamethrower here. I really thought about parting shotting there, but it's fine because we're still wearing down the Ferrothorn, which is all I really care about. Oh, okay, come on. That okay, that's a little much. I crit him. I crit the wheezing. And now I get the burn on Pelipper. That actually really sucks. Like I know I shouldn't be complaining about it because obviously I'm the one getting the hacks and it's good for me in my favor. But at the same time, like I feel like I'm getting I dropped my controller. <laughs> I'm getting luckier against mono and i really feel like i didn't need that burn honestly like just getting off the chip damage with flamethrower is more than good enough honestly so yeah i'm gonna bring back in okada here he knows that we're not choiced but he does not know that we have leftovers or protect as he goes for the hydro pump obviously we are going to eat that we gain our dry skin here this is amazing because now i can honestly just focus blast again i feel a little bit bad because this next turn pelipper is going to be in range of stealth rocks so I feel like I lose nothing in actually focus blasting. Or actually, no, Thunderbolt might be better. Honestly. Because, yeah, even if he brings in the Ferrothorn. Yeah, even if he brings in Ferrothorn, it's probably better for me to Thunderbolt. Just because getting off damage regardless is really good for me. Getting off damage is really good for me. So he's going to switch out. Pelipper has one more switch in still. Mm, I really wish, dude. If he hadn't had switched if he didn't switch in dust clops on my focus blast earlier i wouldn't feel as conservative about my focus blasts right now so at this point i honestly kind of just want to thunderbolt again i don't even care yeah i'm just gonna thunderbolt again i mean that's fine i, I don't i don't mind that at all I'm just gonna thunderbolt and i still haven't even brought in noivern dude at this point noivern can actually smack everything with hurricane yeah hurricane is literally free right now so does he switch out or does he stay in i'm a thunderbolt regardless yeah i don't care i'm gonna thunderbolt like this is fine we take a power whip we have leftovers plus the dry skin from the rain and we have protect we're modest max special attack we're doing good damage to this ferrothorn and we're gaining back a good amount of our hp yeah like this is fine whatever comes in is not appreciating thunderbolt at all Please don't be heavy boots. Oh, he's not heavy boots. Yo! Dope! This is awesome. Yeah, you're dropping, dude. 
Well, you're not dropping, but you'll drop next turn. Wait, is there a chance that this is scarfed? Hold on, that did like little to no damage. I'm max special attack. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna risk it. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I almost ran. Holy crap, I almost ran. I'm gonna Thunderbolt. This is dropping. You're not scarfed. There's no way. There's no, yeah, okay. There's no way you're scarfed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're in a good spot now. We're in a really good spot. I think we're up 6-4 right now. And we're in a pretty dominant position, I want to say. Heliolisk is a giant problem. Espeon, can he even knock me out in one hit is the question. What if he specs? Oh, if he specs, that's actually a little scary. Hmm. Well, I mean, he's not going to be specs, though. There's no way. No way. You should not You should never be specs. And he really doesn't touch Silvali at all. So, we've gotten rid of Santa Scorch. We've gotten rid of the Dust Clops. I'm going to Thunderbolt here, honestly, just because I want to get the damage off. So he goes for the Psychic. We live this. He spexed! He's actually spexed! There's no way! Bro! Yeah, he's actually choice specs. Mmm, okay. I did not. Okay, then. I did not actually think he would be specs. Okay, that's actually really annoying. I don't even know if Silvali takes two at this point. Um, that's a problem. So, still volley, still. I mean, still volley. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, still volley, yeah. So, still volley still takes two. Mm. Can I afford to lose something here? Is the question. Do I want to keep Heliolisk? I feel like. Silvali does more than Heliolisk, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to sack Heliolisk here. In all honesty. In all honesty. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Heliolisk. Oh, uh, he's actually specced. I did not expect that. No, I'm coming stop. <laughs> I didn't think he would actually be choice specs. I really didn't think he would actually be choice specs. But we did so much damage to him. So I can just bring a Darmana Man. I get another kill with Icicle Crash here. And I'm in a pretty good spot. Regardless. We're 100% faster than him. I know for a fact we're faster than him. So I'm going to Icicle Crash. Actually, what I should have done there is gone for the Flare Blitz, honestly. Actually, ah, yeah. I think maybe Flare Blitz might have been better. Maybe Flare Blitz might have been better. So he's going to switch out. He's sitting at tw uh, 30%. Oh, please don't miss. Oh, dude, I had to hold my breath. <laughs> I had to hold my breath there. So down goes this. Yeah, dude, he's got to be specs. There's no way he did that much damage to my Heliolisk if he's not specs. Even if he was like modest scarfed. Yeah, there's no way. There's absolutely no way he... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's absolutely no way. In comes Weezing. Bro, I will click Icicle Crash and I will flinch you. I do not care. I do not care. I will get this flinch and I will 2 a KO you. Or I miss. That sucks. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, does that... Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a little unfortunate, yeah, but... Ah, uh, dude, we would have done, like, so much good damage to that. I mean, again, like, I did get lucky against his thing earlier, so I really can't be upset about that miss. I really can't. Like, that's justified in my opinion. 
That's definitely justified. Icicle Crash wouldn't have knocked him out, but it would have done 30% min exactly. Or definitely. So at this amount of HP, I really think that we can knock him out with Noivern. So I'm bringing Noivern. Oh, shoot. He's at more HP than I thought he would be. Crap. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, okay. If he's not running any special attack investment, we should be fine. So I'm going to go for Psychic here. Honestly, I think at this point I win with Noivern. I might just win with Noivern here. So we go for Psychic. Come on, baby. Come on. No! We live. We live this hit. We live this hit. Bro, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Noivern over here, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Noi Goat, baby. Noi Goat. That, okay, that had to be close to Max Medef. I mean, the only other, I mean, the yeah, the only other mod I brought in was Seismitoad. If I brought in Toad, I could Scald, I suppose. Actually, maybe that was a little better. Because at this point, Espeon is dead. Weezing is dead. Noi, uh, not Noivern. Pelipper is dead, too, pretty much. Yeah, I think we pretty much have this one. I really feel like we have this one. I don't know. If I didn't get the burn on Pelipper, would it have made me play all that differently? I'm not... I don't know. I really don't know if I would have played entirely that differently. Maybe I would have. Maybe I wouldn't have. Because, like, he took, what, 12% extra burn damage here? So would I want to sack my Noivern here? Probably not. I have Seismic Toad, so I'm going to bring in Toad here. I mean, it sucks that I burned him earlier. It really does. But if I had Icicle Crash, I would have flinched him, so... I don't know. No, let me stop. Let me stop. That's me being... Being a little... Uh, kind of a dick about it. So he goes for the Hurricane there. I don't know if that's, like... Scarf damage or not. Is that Scarf damage? That might be Scarf damage. Hold on. Yeah, so he's most definitely Scarf. Because Specs would have put us a lot lower at that point. So, uh, the game is pretty much over. Yeah, there, there's literally nothing he can do. I mean, even, yeah, he specs, he's 110% specs. I'm even gonna bring in Noivern here. I'm gonna bring in Noivern to confirm the fact that he is 110% specs. If I cared about score, I could have brought in Steel Volley there, but I don't really care. So, we're gonna bring in Noivern. And ladies and gentlemen, we have been able to do a more than 20 minute battle with the land connection and i'm so excited man i'm so happy about this if you guys if you guys are excited for this hopefully we can get every other coach to do this and then we don't have to have any battles go to timer so again guys let's try and get this battle over 100 likes because y'all showed such amazing support in our first game so icicle crash that like button down below let me know if you're excited for us to be able to do over 20 minute battles here good game to my boy mono tui awesome awesome dude guys definitely check him out channel link and stuff will be down below and with that being said i will see you all next week with week number three and we are now currently two and oh we will be facing our co-founder of the gdl in week number three so be on the lookout for that and with that being said i will see you all later so thank you all for watching later everybody because my brain and heart are both tied in the knot And this hinders me from flying a lot This causing me to show no emotion But when I said I cared I wasn't joking But I guess it's too late for me to become broken For now, I'm living with no more pain Tears are hoping I'm just coasting Yeah, I said I'm coasting No more pain, tears, and hoping